Hello everyone, welcome to Gen Infopedia. In this video, I am going to explain about why wind turbines are collapsed or fire. So regarding this, I searched and collect information from lot of articles and news. And this video is very useful and interesting one. So don't skip this video and watch this video up to this end. Before starting this video, please subscribe and support my channel because I am a new YouTuber and your support will encourage me to make a lot of informative videos. So guys, these are all the most common reasons for wind turbine fire, collapse or falling. First major reason is pitch system failure. Mostly in that pitch system, battery bank failure rate is high. And second one is electrical short circuit which happens in nozzle or uh, hub. And third one is blade damage, blade broken or something. And uh, fourth one is tower broken. And fifth one is control system failure. So in this video, I explained about pitch system failure because it is the major reason for our wind turbine collapse. So first we need to understand what is pitch control system. I think most of the guys know about pitch control system. I just repress your mind. That's it. So pitch control is the technology it is used to operate and control the angle of the blades in a wind turbine. Nowadays most of the wind turbines using micro pitching control. So this micro pitching controls having a lot of equipments like uh, electric motors, drives and uh, mechanical gears and a power supply system and some of the turbines having a hydraulic pitch system also. Now we are going to see how pitch control system will work. Actually pitch system is a closed loop drive system and this pitch control system mainly depends on wind sensors means anemometers and wind vents. Uh, see this picture and uh, this wind sensor gives the actual values to WTG main control system and this main controller calculate the actual blade angle and then required angle command sent to pitch controller. So this pitch controller having a VFD. VFD means variable frequency drive and battery bank. And this battery bank plays an important role in wind turbines. And I think uh, all wind professionals know about the battery bank importance. So then this uh, pitch controller gives supply to the pitch motor to set required blade angle. And in pitch motor having a resolver and it is used for measure the motor RPM, revolution per minute. And for measuring blade angle position, encoder is used in the hub unit for each blades. So this is how pitch control system will work. So these are all the pitch control system uh, main components. And uh, please see this picture. From right side, first one is pitch motor and uh, second one is battery bank and third one is variable frequency drive. And fourth one is main uh, pitch system control panel. And from left side, first one uh, slave ring uh, that is uh, connected with uh, our uh, drive pinion. And uh, second one is uh, pitch drive, means uh, gear, drive gear. Now see this blade pitching animation video. That big one is uh, blade slave ring and uh, small one is drive pinion. And this drive pinion rotates that slew ring, then automatically blade will rotate. If the cut-in wind speed reach, then pitch controller gives command for rotate blade angle to 90 degree to 0 degree, like this. For example, about 2.5 meters second, it is the cut-in wind speed. And this cut-in wind speed depends on turbine models. And then wind turbine operates this blade angle 0 degree position up to rated wind speed. For example, 12 meter per second. If wind speed crosses 12 meter per second to 20 meter per second, then blade angle moves 0 degree to 20 degree for reducing rotor speed. So now we will see why wind turbines are getting run away. So run away means if aerodynamic braking is not working in case of uh, grid supply failure or any major falls, then wind turbines rotor rotates very very high speed. For example, generator side it will reach uh, up to 4000 rpm also. So basically wind turbine generation RPM is 1500 to maximum 1800 only. But you think if it runs 4000 RPM to one hour, then it may get collapsed. So what is aerodynamic braking? In most of the modern wind turbines, they are using aerodynamic braking is the primary braking system. So aerodynamic braking is nothing but to turning the rotor blades about uh, 0 degree to 90 degrees in case of any grid failure or other falls. You just see the first picture from left side. Uh, this picture shows the blade angle position is 0 degree which means this wind turbine is in normal operation. 
and just see the second picture from right side this picture the bed angle shows 90 degree which means uh, this wind turbine having any faults or uh, any breakdowns or any preventive actions is going on so this is called aerodynamic braking so guys this is how aerodynamic brakes will working during any major problems Now why aerodynamic brake failure during grid supply cutoff time? Just see this one also. So generally during grid cutoff time, there is no supply presence in the wind turbine, right? But immediately we need to rotate that rotor blades position from 0 degree to 90 degree. Otherwise what will happen? The rotor speed will increase. So for this purpose, we are using battery bank for each blades. If this battery bank failure, then automatically that aerodynamic braking will not work because that battery bank only gives power back supply to the pitch motor through VFD controller. So battery bank maintenance is very very important in wind turbines. So now I just telling you an example for how wind turbine speed increases if aerodynamic braking is not working. So you just think this example. If you and your uh, friend both riding in a bicycle, note that your friend sitting in your bicycle back set. Now you pedal your bicycle with a high torque and speed speed will be less automatically suppose your friend suddenly jumps from your bicycle what happened immediately your bicycle speed will be increases you agree because before you are putting more torque during load condition once you realize that increasing of your bicycle speed what you will do suddenly you are pumping brakes to reduce the speed so guys like this in wind turbines generator acts as a load to rotor so that the generator takes more torque from the rotor for electric generation and uh, you just see the wind turbines while generation time the rotor blades bending towards the tower and uh, like flowers why because of this generator load in case any grid drop occurs the generator load releases from the rotor which means the rotor torque will decrease and speed will be uh, automatically increases so if aerodynamic braking is not working due to any battery bank or uh, pitch control system failure, what will happen? That wind turbine may get collapsed. So we need to maintain our wind turbine pitch control system should be always healthy. So guys, if you like this video, please share your friends group also and uh, please subscribe and support our channel. Thanks for watching this video.